move it over to the private school scene. Hampton Roads Academy taking on Bishop Sullivan, two pretty talented private school teams. And we're likely to see a scoring outburst by one or two players in this game as both teams have players that can get hot in a hurry. That's right here as we get started early. The first shot up, no good, but the rebound comes to Hampton Roads Academy and the lane is good. Trey Swinton with that basket there for HRA. Back comes Bishop Sullivan on the break and the one-handed jam by Marcus Burwell. Had a triple-double earlier in the year in the Virginia Preps Classic and he's showing he can get it done in all facets of the game. Three-point shot for HRA's Jordan Gilliam is good. Yeah, Gilliam just spotted up, knocked that one from the top of the key and here comes Academy again. Nice give and go in the transition. The layup is good. Gilliam and company out on Bishop Sullivan. Back comes Pat Rice as he gets the basket to go off the window for Bishop Sullivan on top. 15 to 10 going into the second quarter. HRA trying to mount a comeback though. Their defense starting to make some adjustments, but the three-pointer by Vincent Miles puts Bishop Sullivan in front for good right now. Uh, Sullivan now taking advantage of the perimeter shot and an almost a uh, spectacular one-hand slam. Couldn't get it to go. HRA in transition looks to take advantage of it. Pull-up jumper will fall. Chris Tang trying to give HRA a momentum swing here as that dunk didn't go. And Tang's a player that can get hot for HRA. We'll keep our eye on that. Now Bishop Sullivan back, though. Another three-point shot is in for Vincent Miles. Tang now one-on-one -on -one matchup. He likes going to pull up, pull the trigger, and it's in. Tang was... Really hot here at the end of the quarter, and HRA now on top 29-25 at the break. Yeah, Tang had some high expectations this year after having a good uh, summer on the AAU circuit with the Blue Williams organization, so we'll see where he can lead HRA this year. He'll have it again here. Nice crossover move, gets in the lane, spinning to the bucket. Got the lay-in to go, but despite the contact. Just an array of skills, smart player, and Tang 18 of 21 from the field in this game. Very efficient, too, as he was pulling it on, and now the three-point shot. Jordan Gilliam, when you focus in on Tang, it leaves somebody open and Gilliam capitalized. And it will be a big shot this time knocked down by uh, Bishop Sullivan. Great job there. And in transition, somehow splitting three defenders and getting fouled and making the layup. Great move. Marcus Burwell getting it done. Tough there. And Tang says, you got one, I'll answer you back. A three-pointer for him. He is just on fire and fuego for him right now. Doesn't matter who you put on him. He's going to score. He's going to take Burwell to the basket and get it to fall. He is just in a groove. Yeah, that was a heat check. Nice crossover in the lane. Used the offhand for the finger roll. And here comes HRA again in transition. And there's Tang again for the score. Chris Tang now just scoring at will anytime he wants. One-on-one -on -one matchups he likes. And uh, Bishop Sullivan electing not to double him. And they're paying right now as he's just going by guys, blowing by him, hitting the three-pointers. Bishop Sullivan going to need some threes to fall here. And Burwell's their main guy inside. He gets a nice spin move. And it falls. Yeah, nice spin move, fade away in the lane. HRA in transition once again, laying no good, but the second effort is there for Hampton Roads Academy. Somebody other than Tank scores is it's Trey Swinton with the putback, and now Bishop Sullivan trying to mount their rally. Three pointer in the corner by Pat Rice, it goes. Here comes HRA in transition, and who are you gonna give the ball to, Matt? Uh, some guy named Tang. And yeah, it's a good choice. He's now up to 30 plus in the game, trying to get to 40 plus. He gets it to go off the window, 74-67, HRA with the win. How about Chris Tank, 42 points, what a performance there. Vince Ma with 25, and Pat Rice with 23 in the loss for Bishop Sullivan. Our private school notes, you saw Cape Henry boys rally with Larry Obama, 10-game winning streak. They're really rolling right now. Bianca Roach on the girls' side for Cape Henry had 21 points in a route of Fredericksburg Christian. And Latrice Hunter, Norfolk Christian girl, 28 points, 8 assists, 5 steals versus Greenbrier. Fill in the stat sheet there, Matt. Yeah, most definitely. Naomi Walker's average of 15, 5, and 5 during four games has Smithfield on a four-game winning streak. And we'll take a look at our top scores in the Bay Rivers as Darren Major at 19.8 points and Grafton's Elijah Moore at 17.1 or 1 and 2, followed up by Miss Rose McLaurin and then Blake Reams averaging 20 points in, the, in games to help Grafton remain undefeated.